my interactions with folks in Kosovo and also more so even folks in uh, Sarajevo uh, have revolved around the conscious memory of some of the terrible atrocities that happened here in recent memory. And even though they feel like it's been so long, it's been a couple of decades, it's really yesterday in a historical sense. And I didn't even realize that some of the things I was talking about in Story Night were resonating with this crowd completely differently given their incredible history, given what they've overcome, given the trauma that they're still dealing with in many ways. They felt empowered, actually. I was really grateful that I was able to give them a little bit of that. A young man came up to me and told me how empowered he felt that, you know, we need to move forward and we need to learn from this experience and grow and become stronger. And those became his words instead of mine. I just really pray for these budding young nations that are so filled with young energy and so new. It's kind of like a rebirth after everything they've been through, right? We're at the precipice of that and there's such a beautiful innocence and a curiosity that is at the, at the very heart of this thing. If I could inspire a little bit of that curiosity into the Qur'an and engaging with the Qur'an, I think they can take it in just unimaginable beautiful places. The, the, the future is very bright for here. It's been a couple of years. We've all been stir crazy, staying at home. COVID has locked down so many cities, so many countries, and finally the world is starting to connect again and travel is happening again again. And I pounced on the opportunity to try and do a story night tour. It has been an incredible experience. From city to city to city, appreciating the subtle differences in culture and the way they're, they're taking in the material. It's been absolutely an overwhelming, amazing, combination of just positive on top of positive on top of positive experiences. All culminating last night with uh, my story night in Bosnia. Uh, the first time I've ever done any program in Bosnia. In fact, the first time I've ever been to Bosnia. You know, one thing that I will take away from this trip is never to underestimate the kind of good that's happening in the world. Like, you might think that the, the effect of your work or the good deed you're doing, nobody notices. You don't know the kind of butterfly effect, the kind of domino effect that Allah will bring out of that one good deed of yours. And that's the kind of thing that I saw. And I tried to do this experiment with vlogging and trying to, you know, encapsulate these incredible memories because I felt from previous trips that so much amazing stuff happened, but then it withered away from my memory. And I wanted to bring you along with that. So I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly did. And I hope, uh, that I can accompany you again, inshallah, on the next tour and capture some more amazing stories. See you then. See you then. See you then. Can't even speak clearly.